Mr. Bennett, the term apartheid now is being used by British parliamentarians with reference to Israel. Does that not worry you? That's a blatant lie. The only country in this area that treats its one and a half million uh, minority of Muslims, of Arabs, with full equal rights. They vote for our parliament. They vote for my parliament. They have members of parliament. They pay taxes. They go to work. They enjoy full equal rights. I don't recall that in Saudi Arabia women can drive. And I do remember a few Arab states that kill gays and, and they stone them. And I, I know that Syria is butchering its own people. So for you to suggest that Israel is an apartheid state when we're the only place in the Middle East that provides Bennett, full Mr. equal Bennett, rights to its citizens, Bennett, that's a blatant lie. And I don't accept that approach. Mr. Bennett, separate development was a term that you agreed with and it so is a term, a term that's that applied you, that's a term to that you've apartheid decided to and we've not been talking what, about what, what the I'm saying, Israeli Arabs what, and their what, what status I'm in saying, Israel. We're talking about the Palestinians. No, I, I, I know and I, well I'm hearing what you're saying and I'm telling you that Israel and you should be praising Israel for being in a very tough situation fighting in a world of Al Qaeda and Hamas and uh, ISIS now and for you to sit in London and, uh, and call us uh, apartheid that's unacceptable when we're the only free state in the nation we're fighting your war make no mistake if this radical Islamic regime comes and, and the way flows over Israel, it's going to hit London. In fact, it is. They, they killed a soldier on, in London Street, and they're going to do that again. We're fighting the same war of the free world against this terrible axis. We would expect the world to help us rather than call us apartheid or any, any other unacceptable names. Okay, that's all we have time for, I'm afraid. And that finally went to Israel's Economy Minister and our Foreign Affairs Editor, Sam Khalid. Thank you.